The National Working Committee of the All Progressive Congress over the weekend inaugurated its National Campaign Council to champion the successful outcome of the forthcoming Kogi State Governorship election at the Government House Lokoja, the state capital. The committee, headed by the Ogun State Governor Dapo Abiodun, has Lagos, Kuala, Nanjo, Benue, and Nasarawa State Governors as co chairmen, while members of the National Assembly from the North Central Geopolitical Zone elected on the platform of APC are members. National Chairman of the party, Abdullahi Omar Ganduje, while inaugurating the committee on Saturday, charged them to deliver an issue based campaign. He appreciated the government and people of Kogi State for the warm reception and hospitality and commended Governor Yahya Bello for numerous achievements recorded during his tenure. A reporter tells us more. I do inaugurate this important national campaign council for the notorial election in Kogi State. Thank you. The chairman of the National Campaign Council for the Governorship Election in Kogi, Governor Dakbo Abiodun of Ogun State, assured party supporters of the determination of its national leaders to work in unity for the victory of candidate Usma Ahmed Ododo at the poll. There is no vacancy in Lugar House. We will definitely surpass the performance of the presidential and national assembly elections. Like our secretary had remarked, in any elections, there are winners and there are losers. Let us all join hands to work together in unity. This election is ours. Our campaign will be issue-based. Let us all go into the nooks and crannies, our polling units, our wards. Let me assure you, with the caliber of this campaign council, we will provide everything that you need. All the resources are just the business. Victory is generally certain. This will be the first test of our president, President Abed Bola Tinubu, and our very experienced former commissioner, former deputy governor, former governor and now chairman of our great party, His Excellency Dr. Abdullahi Gandhiji. God willing, it will mark the beginning of many successes under their watch. Governor Dapo said that with the result of the last general election, it was certain that the APC would beat any opposition party in the governorship poll. While commending the state governor Yaya Bello for his resilience and hard working, Abiodun expressed satisfaction with the caliber of people nominated as members of the campaign council, describing the election as the first test for President Bola Tinibu and the national chairman of the APC, Abdullah Nganduji. On behalf of the entire members of the Kogi National Gubernatorial Campaign Council, we accept our nomination and responsibility to serve and pledge that we will carry out this assignment to the best of our ability. Kogi is an APC state. And this was underscored by the results of the presidential and national assembly elections of this year. Of course, it is a testimony to the very hard work, resilience, doggedness of my brother, the White Lion, Your Excellency, the High Abuja. The testimony to his socio-economic development, which is obvious across the state. He has restored peace and security in this state. We know that without peace and security, there cannot be any meaningful socio-economic development. He has uplifted education and he continues to provide quality health care. He noted that with the inauguration of the campaign council, election victory had begun in Kogi State. The co-chairman of the campaign council and the governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Songwolu, insists that Kogi was a no-go area for opposition parties in the November governorship election. The Lagos State governor urged the people of Kogi not to be deceived by the opposition. In the same vein, the chairman of the APC Governors Forum, 
Governor Abdurrahman Abdurazak of Kora State said the people of Kogi State had resolved to stay with the APC. This is a done deal, I can assure you. You know, before the last election, you saw all the obstacles we had, but we surmounted them and delivered President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Now, things are much easier now. You've seen what DYB has done in Kogi State. I should say that his media team should do more because if you're not in Kogi State and see the work that has been done, you would not know how far development has gone in this state. So let me congratulate you for leaving a good legacy for the law to build on. All I urge you, we're all APC members here, let's go out to campaign strongly for the party. Let's go out to campaign in our constituencies and make sure we deliver our party. This election is for APC to lose. And we'll make all efforts to make sure we we'll do all efforts to make sure we don't lose this election. This will be a landslide victory. Kogi State Governor Yayabelo appreciated President Bola Tinebu for leading the way in the sustenance of the nation's democracy and promised not to disappoint him in the provisional gains of democracy to the people of Kogi State. He assured that the party would deliver for the APC absently in the November governorship pool. He described the APC flag bearer in the state, Usma Ododo, as one who is coming with a whole lot of experience to consolidate on the unity and achievements recorded in the state under the administration. In Kogi State here, Your Excellency, the Chairman, sir, and Your Excellencies, we have demonstrated what's called unity, togetherness, peace, development, here equity and justice here in Kogi State. Therefore, the Kogites believe in APC, believe in my, my leadership, and of course, the product we are marketing is already a sellable product. Before we even hit the ground running, Kogites, some majority of them are saying, just stay back at home. It is a done deal. In Kogi State here, Your Excellency, we don't have any challenge. We don't have anybody that is contesting this election with us. We have faced the most difficult elections in the past. The most difficult one was just the last one in 2023. When we faced, uh, uh, when our funds were confiscated, when there was no fuel, when things were almost at a standstill, we won over 95% of all the elective positions that are available in Kogi State. Governor Bello urged supporters to campaign based on issues and shun violence, stressing that Kogi State will remain united before, during and after the election. Others who spoke at the event commended Governor Yaya Bello, President Bola Ahmed Tinebu, and the leaders of the APC party. The highlight of the event was the inauguration of the National Committee of the Kogi Governorship Election Council. Highlight of the event is the unveiling of the manifesto of Usman Ododo for consolidation and continuity and the entertainment by the state cultural troops. I am Faith Abdugafar reporting for MSC TV.